Hi and welcome back to my channel and to this next video of the Haga Cut video series. Now as I told you in the last video, with this video we want to start to work on sort of an example project that we use for the upcoming videos. So therefore in this video we will start with the basic electrical installation. So we will create the different circuits that we need with the circuit breakers and RCDs. And then in the upcoming videos we will add for example KNX devices to it and also create the enclosure diagram. So let us start with creating the project after the intro. So the example project that we want to create contains of one switching board. This switching board has a surge protective device and also six circuits for lightning. They are secured each by a circuit breaker and a combined RCD. Then we also have six circuits for our sockets and they are secured each by an RCBO. So a um, combined circuit breaker with an RCD. And then last but not least, we also will have a circuit for an electrical oven that is also secured by an RCD as well as a circuit breaker. So therefore I am now in Haga Cut and I will create a project within my YouTube folder and I will name it Smart Home. And after creating the project, I will directly go here to the diagrams page and there I will select the assisted multi-line diagram. Then I will stick to the defaults here and the incoming I want to use as a non-project location with the default values here, clicking here on OK. And then we can start to place down our devices in the diagram table. So the first device that I want to add is the search protective device. And I want to add the search protective device in front of my current loop. And in order to place devices here, so you can see between this, we don't have fields where I can add devices. I have to click here on this corner, then do a right click. And here I can insert new lines. And with this, you can see here, we added a new line where we can set up devices. So therefore, let us add the search protective device. I click here on the field N1, then to the catalogs page. And in here, I can find it under board devices, modular protection devices. And there we have search protection device. And I will use a type two, three poles with neutral, and I will quickly added. Now, of course, this search protective device only makes sense here, the type two, if in the incoming distribution, we already have a SPD type one. So as you can see here, we now have our search protective device and it is connected to our equal potential. Now with that added, we can start to create our first circuits. So remember, we wanted to add six lightning circuits that are secured by a combined RCD and then each circuit is secured by a circuit breaker. So therefore, I first of all want to add the RCD. So I click here on this first free field, go back to catalogs and there under residual current circuit breaker, I will specify four poles with a current for 40 amps, the type A and 30 milliamps. And now with this selected, I can click here on add. And now we have one RCD, which is currently directly connected to a circuit. So here you can see terminal, but we want now to add in between six circuit breakers. Now there are multiple options of how we can add those circuit breakers. What I will do now is I will click here on this field then go to catalogs and here I can select now miniature circuit breaker and specify the value. So for this case, I will use 10 amps. Now you can see down below here, we can specify the quantity of devices that we want to add. So therefore I will set it up here to six, then click on the screen add symbol. And with that, we created six 
circuit breakers at the same time. So let us take a look at the diagram, what this looks like. You can see here our RCD and then down below here we have our circuit breaker. Now what we can also do is that we specify the circuit itself. So you can see here on the right hand side, so this table here, there we can specify the circuit. So first of all what I want to do is that I want to specify the appliance. Remember in this case we did it for lightning. So I will start to type lightning and as you can see we get an autocomplete suggestion. Now when we get this suggestion we can simply apply it by clicking the tabulator button on our keyboard and when HagaCut is providing us with such a suggestion this means that it also has a pictogram applied to this appliance. We can see this pictogram when we go down below here to properties and there you can see now also an appliance we can see lightning. If we click on that and then the three dots here we can see these lightning pictogram that is associated to this appliance. When we don't get such an autocomplete suggestion then we don't have a pictogram associated to it. And this pictogram then is shown if we have chosen the correct circuit description. So in the case so in this case we won't see the pictogram but we can change this structure here of our circuit description later on to also see the pictogram. For now I will stick to this description type and go ahead here. Then we can add a location and again the same thing applies also here. When we get an auto suggestion it means that HagaCut has a pictogram associated to it. So now in this case living room. And then the fields here I leave empty for now. But what I also want to do is here we can specify the cable type. So in order to specify the cable type I have to click on this cable type field and then you can see this window here appears. Now here I can specify the cable type. So multi-core, then the type itself. So I will use for example this type 4F3. Now if the type of the cable that you used isn't here, then you can just leave this field empty. Then we can also define the cross area of the cable itself, in this case 1.5 square millimeters click here on OK and now you can see this cable type here was associated to the circuit. And now we have to do this for all the other circuits. But we can make it a little bit easier by simply clicking Ctrl C here on the cable type and then Ctrl V it onto the other circuits here. So with this you can see this setting was copied and we can achieve the same thing here for lightning. For this I click here down below and then I navigate with the arrows here to lightning and also do Ctrl C and Ctrl V to the other circuits. And with that we have copied these settings. Now if we take a look back at the diagram you can now see here that we have the description so lightning and here we can see the cable type that is associated to it. And what we can also see is that the connection to the cable, so the connection between cable and circuit breaker is done via a direct connection. But it also could be that you use terminals instead. This is something that we can also document with HagaCut. Therefore we go here onto the arrow, the arrow symbol means that it is a direct connection and if we want to change it we click on it then go here to connection and here we can specify the connection type. So direct connection or we use terminals. Now you can see we could also use terminals except PE, so protective earth, or also except neutral and protective earth. Now in this case I want to use on terminals. And now to modify multiple circuits at the same time, I simply mark all of them, so clicking the first one and then the second one by also pressing shift at the same time. And then I can click also here to connection on terminals and with that we have changed all the circuits at the same time. And then if we go back to our diagram we can see the terminals down below here. So that's that. So you saw how much of a work it was to copy all the different properties of the circuit.
What we can also do, which I will do now for our socket circuits, is that we first of all create one circuit, set it up correctly and then copy this circuit completely. By that we only need to copy the circuit and not the different properties of it. So let us start by adding an RCBO. So here RCBO, then specify the correct braking capacity, the number of poles, 16 amps, with a B curve and type A as well as 30 milliamps, clicking here on add. And with that we have now have an RCBO. And now let us set up this one circuit. So first of all, I will change the connection type to on terminals. Then I specify the appliance. So in this case, socket circuit, you can already see that we get an auto complete suggestion. And then what I also want to do is that I want to specify the cable type. Now here in this case, I want to use 2.5 square millimeters, clicking here on OK. And with this first circuit set up, we can now start to copy this RCBO. So control C and then we control V it onto the other empty fields here. So one, two, three, four, five, so that we have six circuits and you can see all these settings were also copied. So the correct cable type as well as the correct appliance. So this is how you can make it a little bit faster. And if we go back to the diagram, let us take a look at the second page. There we have our RCBOs. So a combined RCD with a circuit breaker. So with that finished, only one thing is missing for now, which is our RCD and circuit breaker for the electrical oven. So in order to add it, I mark the next free field, go to catalogs and then first of all I will start with the RCD where I will use four poles with 25 amps and 30 milliamps current. I will add it and then we can also add our circuit breaker. Now in this case I need three poles instead of one. And with that we have set up our circuit for the electrical oven and now we just need to edit the properties of it. So the connection type is on terminals. Then we can specify here oven and also specify the cable type. And with that we have created the diagram for this example project. Let us take a look at it. So here we now have our electrical oven, there we have our socket circuits and here in front we have our circuits for the lightning. What I currently don't like is that the circuits for the lightning are split up between the first and the second page. So what I want to do is I want to force Hager cut so that it will start on a new page with this RCD. And this can be achieved pretty simple by going back to the diagram table. And now we make a right click here on this RCD. And here we can now force Hagaka to insert a page break. And with that you can see that this RCD is now moved to the next page, marked here by this orange line. Now you can already guess that I also want to do the same thing for our socket circuits. So also here I force a page break and now with that we have it a little bit cleaner. So now on the first page we might just have this search protective device but on the second page we now have our lightning circuits and on the third page the socket circuits as well as the circuit for our electrical oven. So because we set up that the connection here is via terminals we can also calculate the terminal blocks that we need for this switching board. And this is achieved by clicking here on terminal block calculation. By clicking on it, you can see that HagerCut wants to calculate it for our first terminal block marked with X1. 
And before I will start the calculation, I first of all go to the settings page and here we can now specify the terminals that we use. So the simple type or the stage type, in my case I want to use the stage type where we have multiple connections on one terminal block. Then we can define the connection either with screws or with the cage clamp, which is here called quick connect. And then we can click here on OK and start the calculation by clicking here on add cables and add terminal blocks. Now we can click here on OK and you can see that we now also have a terminal block plan here. So I click on it and here we now can see the different wires that come from our electrical installation. So the cables that we specified. And here we can see on which clamp or on which connection point it has to be connected and where it is connected within the switching board. Now in this case you can see that this is all done to one terminal block, terminal block X1. Now you might want to use different terminal blocks. So for example you want to use X1 for all of your lightning cables and X2 for your socket circuits. And we can do this by going back here to the diagram table and marking every terminal that should be on the next terminal block. So for this case I will use the socket circuits starting here and marking it down all down below to the oven. And then I can click here on transfer and here I can now create a new terminal block and can give it a completely new letter as well as a completely new number. Now I will simply use X2 and what I also want to do is that the connection to the equipotential is done via a direct connection so that we don't have a terminal for it. So I click here on the connection and then change it to direct. And with that we can go back to the diagram and start the calculation again. So clicking back here on terminal block calculation. Now in order to do the calculation for both terminal blocks you have to click here on select all then add terminal blocks and add cables. And with that we can click on OK and now you can see we have two terminal block plans. One for X1 so L for the lightning cables and one for our socket circuits. And with that we have created our power diagram and terminal block plans for this example project. So that's that for this video. I think this was a lot of new information and tips and tricks I showed you in this video. So try to redo it either on the same example project or maybe you can do it for your own electrical installation. As you can see, this project isn't finished. We still have to add KNX devices and also have to create the enclosure plan. And this is what we will do in the upcoming videos. And therefore in the next video, we want to start with adding KNX devices into our power diagram. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, consider a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified for new videos. If you have any wishes or suggestions or questions left, write them down in the comments below and I'm excited to see you in the next video.